wrapped up about half an hour ago. You can see there's still some people milling around and we've heard great things about this show. The theater was full tonight here at the Schuster Center. The Lion King is picking up the momentum that it needs to carry out the next four weeks of this run. Inside the Schuster Center, a crowd is gathering full of anticipation for tonight's show. I've had my ticket for a couple months. <laughs> a couple of months? A couple of months. Well, but I'm really excited. The songs have been perfected and the choreography fine-tuned. The show, based on the movie, has been a hit on Broadway and with critics, and now it's wowing crowds here, even if they're not familiar with the story of the lion cub who becomes king. I didn't know much about it, and my friend had been here before, and she said the, the costumes were fabulous, and so I decided to come. I really don't know a whole lot, just that it's a Broadway production. I've never been to one before, and I really want to kind of experience it without having to go to New York. And instead of bringing their cash to New York, audiences are spending downtown. It's expected the show will bring $15 million to the Dayton area over its four-week run. Restaurants have been preparing for months, and this group from Sydney took advantage, eating dinner at Uno's before the show. Not too bad, just pleasantly crowded. WDTN is a proud sponsor of The Lion King. We had a woman come out of the show tonight to the truck here and tell us that we need to do this show justice, so it's that good. You still want to see it and you don't have tickets, there is good news because there are tickets available. You can head to the box office here at the Schuster Center to reserve your seats or go online to TicketCenterStage.com. There's a link to that on our website, WDTN.com. Just click on web links. It's under the on-air tab on the homepage. Reporting live in downtown Dayton, Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.